Hello students, acolytes and apprentices of the Force. I welcome you back to another Star Wars holocron. Today we will unravel the mystery of Wolf Karko, one of the lost 20 Jedi Masters. We will search his holocron and see if he will make it to the big screen for a return as a Dark Jedi. While he may not be a Sith Lord, Dark Jedi have been some of the most compelling Star Wars villains, and one from Legends has been set up to return. Among the scattered stars and forgotten worlds, a name that had once been buried in the archives of the darkest legends resurfaced with a chilling resonance. Volfe Karko. This dark Jedi, a being of immense power and malice, had been a mere myth to many. A cautionary tale whispered among Jedi younglings. But the truth was far more terrifying. Volfe Karko, a member of the Anzati species was not just any force wielder turned rogue. He was a nightmare from the past, a devourer of life force, and his potential return was a harbinger of darkness unlike any other. His story was interwoven with the very fabric of the force itself, a tale of power, betrayal, and an insatiable hunger for the essence of life. Ancient holocrons flickered to life, revealing cryptic clues about the Anzati and their terrifying abilities. The Jedi Archives, a bastion of knowledge and history, held within its silent walls the secrets of the Lost Twenty, of which Karko was rumored to be a part. These were Jedi Masters who had turned their backs on the Order, and Karko's fall was perhaps the most tragic and sinister of all. In the shadowed halls of the Jedi Temple, whispers spoke of a time long ago when Karko's thirst for the life force of others led him down the path of darkness. His powers were so fearsome that the Jedi Council had no choice but to imprison him in stasis, hoping to contain his malevolence for eternity. But as the galaxy knows all too well, darkness has a way of enduring, of finding cracks in the strongest of armors. The first sign of his impending return came from the fringes of the Outer Rim, where a group of explorers stumbled upon an ancient site, a prison of sorts, hidden away on a forgotten planet. The air was thick with the weight of centuries, and the very stones of the structure hummed with a dark energy. It was here that the legend of Volfe Karko began to unravel from myth into a spine-chilling possibility, the Sith and the Empire had fallen, and Rey's new Jedi Order was a beacon of hope amidst the ruins. But the return of Wolf Karko threatened to engulf that light in the darkest of shadows. The stage was set, the players were unknowingly in place, and the first act of this ominous saga was about to begin. As the stars looked on in silent anticipation, the fate of the galaxy once again hung in the balance, with the spectre of the most terrifying dark Jedi of all looming over it, ready to claim his place in the archives of history. As the galaxy spun in its usual dance of politics and power, the potential return of Volfe Karko remained shrouded in speculation and fear. Among the scattered systems and diverse inhabitants, rumors began to spread like wildfire, igniting debates and theories in every corner of space. Was the return of this dark Jedi merely a myth, an echo of fears from a long-forgotten past, or was it a looming threat about to become a horrifying reality? In the dimly lit cantinas and crowded forums of Coruscant, enthusiasts and scholars alike debated the validity of these claims. Some clung to the belief that Disney's canon would embrace this terrifying figure from the legends, integrating Kako into the fabric of the ongoing narrative as they had with other characters like Grand Admiral Thrawn. They speculated on how he might be woven into the existing tapestry, perhaps as a formidable foe to raise burgeoning New Jedi Order, or even as a dark force haunting the legacy of Luke Skywalker during the era of the Mandalorian. Conversely, skeptics raised their brows, pointing out the complexities and potential inconsistencies a character like Karko could introduce into the tightly woven narrative of the Star Wars canon. They argued that the balance of the Force, as depicted in the current timeline, might not accommodate another dark figure of such magnitude without overshadowing the established lore. For every enthusiastic believer, there was a doubtful critic, and the debates raged on without conclusion. 
Meanwhile, in the hallowed halls of Lucasfilm and the creative minds behind the franchise, the possibility of Carco's canonization remained an enigmatic puzzle piece. Would they dare to delve into the darkest corners of the legends to bring forth a character so steeped in the ancient and sinister lore? Or would Carco remain a spectre of the past, a chilling what-if scenario discussed in hushed tones by fans and lore masters? Volfe Carco could be the key to a new, darker narrative, a way to explore the depths of the dark side in a manner never before seen in the canon. Yet the introduction of such a character was not without its risks. Carco's dark legacy and the terrifying powers of the Anzati could bring a new level of horror and moral complexity to the Star Wars universe. His presence would challenge the very foundations of the Jedi Order and the understanding of the Force. It was a tantalizing prospect, but one that needed to be handled with the utmost care to maintain the intricate balance of the expansive Star Wars mythology. In the end, only time would tell if Volfe Kako would emerge from the shadows of speculation to become a terrifying reality in the Star Wars canon. Until then, he would remain a ghostly figure at the edge of the known galaxy, a symbol of the enduring power of the dark side and the endless possibilities that lie within the stars. But what do you think of this potential character from legend? Would you like to see him as the new villain? As always, my friends, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you. Star Wars merchandise is in the description. Have a great day.